Hi and welcome to this video on Full Fibre to the Premises or FTTP as you might know it. Now we're really excited to bring you this video because it takes you on a journey where we install Full Fibre from the ground up and to our clients doors. Now my name is Rob from RLS Computer Services, your trusted IT consultant here in Kings Lynn. So in this video, we'll take you through every phase that we went through from planning to implementation, including the digging, the ducting, the cable pulls, the fiber pulls, every stage. So please stay tuned because you're going to see the good, the bad and the ugly of this project. OK, before we get started, and if you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and bell button so you can stay tuned for future videos from RLS Computer Services. OK, so without any further delay, let's get to that video. Okay, so it's a great day here in Clenchwater and really good sunny day, um, really good news. Uh, we're working on our fibre project where we're uh, installing fibre to three new premises here in the village. And uh, what we can see here is that the fibre, if we flip the camera, we can see here that the cable connection that's uh, down at the junction there at Hall Road is coming up here. And they've now installed uh, these inspection chambers all the way down, so we have now got some uh, cable uh, going down right down to the properties down there so that's really really good news so we're now going to go on site and just check out to see uh, where we are with that and to mark out where we're going to do the cabling on the ground for those three sites so let's get on with that okay so here's the pole that will be bring our fiber to our client site to service the four properties what we need now is we need a trench dug from here leading all the way to the trench here now this trench has already been pre-dug for other utilities it's, it's uh, been dug for uh, electrical right now so we're going to uh, jump onto that uh, uh, trench and uh, join into that uh, once that's been uh, uh, checked out by the utility company and then backfilled we're then going to put our conduit over the top of that and we're now going to run um, uh, come off that so there'll be a little junction box here somewhere and then we're going to spur off to this property here that property around the corner there and this one here there is a fourth property as well around the corner um, which is um, going to be we need to do as well but for the moment we just want to get these ones done because this is the primary piece of fiber cable coming in to those properties so let's get that marked out Okay, so hopefully this is where we're going to be breaking through when we drill our holes, so it will be somewhere in this area, so that when we bring our um, connection in, through here, which will be coming up through the uh, ducting, of course, uh, from the fibre cabinet that's obviously going to be in the ground over there. Okay, so that's hopefully where we're going to be breaking through when we start drilling this, uh, this way, but we just need to check with the homeowners first to make sure that there's nothing uh, that's going to be in the way here in the future to... Uh, to hinder that so we'll get that done uh, next I think and it starts to rain or hail hail and rain perfect Okay, so we managed to miss a massive hailstorm that's now coming down. You might be able to pick it up on the microphone. One minute it was lovely and sunny, next minute it was uh, hailstones. So that's typical Norfolk weather for you. Um, but we did manage to get the site marked out for where the actual uh, excavation needs to be done so that we can get the conduit and all the pipe work into the ground. We just need to uh, obviously identify where the actual junction box is going to be. Um, but all that's now done, so that's all being marked out, ready for when the actual guys come and do the, the, the digging work. We can then start looking at how uh, drawing through our, uh, our drawstring, ready for when the, to, when the fibre gets delivered and installed. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon, hopefully without this weather. The next thing we need to do is to dig out the foundations for the inspection chamber. Now this needs to be done at a depth of 350 millimeters. 
The inspection chamber is made up of five preformed sections. Each section has to be made precisely in order to gain the required depth. Now that we've installed the inspection chamber, we can lay the rest of the ducting to the remaining properties. Now that the ducting has been laid for these properties, all that is required is for it to be filled and tagged with cable marking tape. Our final job of the day is to lay the ducting for our final property. It's getting quite late, so I have a little bit of help from Gary, the site electrical contractor. Okay, so all the duct is in. All we need to do now is clear it off site and head off home. So next time you see us, hopefully we'll be pulling those Cat6 cables. So stay tuned for that. Catch you later. Okay guys, so what's your thoughts? What do you think? Um, that was our video of uh, on this episode of installing full fiber from the ground up. Really interested in your uh, comments, so please put them below. My name is Rob from RS Computer Services. Keep an eye out for future videos on this channel. Thanks for watching.